Okay guys, uh, I'm back with the final character for this week and I feel that it's time to tell you the last character. As you can see, it's this feline femme fatale known as Greer Grant Nelson, aka Tigra. And She's one of my favorite Avengers. Uh, and I've always liked cat-like characters. You know, you know, uh, it's always been something cool about them. And I, 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 and I guess, yeah, it all started with Thundercats, but uh, it's something unique about them. You know, they have the grace, the agility, you know, the heightened senses of a jungle cat or a regular cat. Now, the thing I don't think a lot of people know, you know, Tiger's origin, and I'm here to share it with you. Um, okay. Now, Greer Grant, basically, Greer started out, she was just a regular human, you know, that pretty much took her, she was just a regular human that she went for treatments and it it basically upped her human peak level she took over the mantle of a character known as the cat uh, that is the first time she actually appeared in the, the book named the cat number one uh, during that time she nearly died and when she was dying her mentor doctor uh, Tamal offered to save her life by bonding her soul with one of, you know, basically this ancient race of cat people. Uh, one, one of the, and she basically accepted. And she basically became, that's how she basically became Tigra. Um... She she's she's kind of considered a uh, a were tiger or however you want to consider it. Uh, when she was after she was turned into you know Tigra Hydra found their location and attacked them. She was able to escape, and she even met that day running from Hydra. She met Werewolf by Night. And they actually fought Hydra soldiers, and they uh, but unfortunately, their little team up uh, didn't last because she was she was captured by Hydra. and and well, the werewolf actually was left unconscious on in his location where they were. Uh, but he came after later on. Uh, he rescued Tigra and they fought their way out. And basically after that, uh, she at when in the earlier days Tigra was able to like transform her form, change her form uh, with like a like an amulet that was like made of a cat. But she lost that ability. Um, she she's been around for a long time, and as well as worked for a lot of people. I mean, she's met, she's fought people like Craven the Hunter. Uh, Super Scroll, you know, uh, she's, she, she broke into the Baxter building one time, uh, to help, um, to fight, uh, a character known as Cougar, you know, she's done a lot of things that, you know, it's not very, but, you know, you, you get, and, 
she kind of had a thing for thing <laughs> or for Ben actually when she she actually stayed in the the Baxter building you know but you know it was Ben at that time loved Elisa Masters and he kind of rejected her so uh, she she left she she went away and um, she would move on once again she, she was chosen she finally made her way to the Avengers and when she was with the Avengers uh, she uh, she started to catch uh, she she started to I guess you could say catch feelings for um, Hank um, in a way um, but uh, once again you know it was a no show <laughs> Uh, she's even helped Spider Woman when Spider Woman had her private and guest private PI business. Uh, when the Avengers went to the West Coast and under Hawkeye's leadership, she went with them. Uh, she she really really she really couldn't really make up her mind sometimes about why she was doing this and things like that but uh she always was always there to help whatever team she was on and she would always be a value asset to whatever team like when they would fight just some big challenges some very powerful villains that you know that really took the avengers to face Um, a lot of people want to know what what is Tigra's uh, like what what is her powers like what is her abilities okay well like I said she pretty much is a, like a female tiger tiger like so pretty much all that matches what a tiger you know, so she's got razor sharp, retractable claws. Um, that and her claws are so tough, like they can, they can cut through steel. Uh, she has, you know, heightened senses, like pretty much a cat has. She can see in the dark. She has night vision. Uh, she, she. They class classify her strength as class ten, which make believes is basically saying that she she it allows her to lift up to I guess ten tons under you know normal human conditions you know basically when she's not you know stressed out or anything like that. Of course you know the, the cat like agility and things like that. You know. Uh, she has a minor healing factor, you know, it's not as strong as say Wolverine's, but she does have a uh she she's it kinda has a it's a bit. She also is slightly resistant to against telepathic attacks. So, you know, they don't really work on her. Uh yes, and I know somebody will probably ask, can she communicate with other felines? Yes, she can. She can do that. Um, since she is pretty much a cat, like, and cats pretty much can fit through anything, she can dislocate her joints to escape, you know, a lot of traps. Uh, she is, she is a hell of a hand-to-hand -hand combat uh, combatant. Uh, she was trained by Captain America. And at even one time when she she was able to go to her human form again, she was a police one full and she's had police training. Um 
she she has she's a skilled pilot you know a lot of these things she is kind of considered an amazon because she stands about five eight so you know you kind of it's kind of tall for a woman um and that was just when she was just just regular geek greer but when she's tiger she stands five foot ten so yeah she's she's an amazon she's pretty tall uh It, it, she now, you can now catch her on the Avengers Academy, Academy book, and she's over there with Hank Pym and Justice and Quicksilver and Speedball, you know, um, teaching a lot of the younger, uh, uh, classmate, the uh, Academy members, you know, how to be a better Avenger. Uh, but it's like, like, like we all say, once an Avenger, always an Avenger. Now, she has made appearances outside of comic books. She, she was actually in the first adaptation of the Avengers cartoon. Uh, she was a member of the team, the first Avengers cartoon back in 1990. Uh, she was voiced by Los Lenore Zan. Uh, Lenore, Len Lenore Zan also voiced Rogue from the, the X Men series, so it was cool to hear her voice. Her, uh, but it, it didn't last too long, you know. That that Avengers cartoon just really, because that was pretty much Avengers meet Power Rangers when all that that armor was they used to wear just was just terrible to me uh but she never wore any armor really she just wore like uh like a i guess you could say a sports bra with a i guess you could say underwear or so uh but they never went too far with her gear because in the comics she's pretty much just wearing a, a one piece bathing suit or so and it, you're just like Holy crap, like, you know, so, you know, but, but despite her, her, like, feline looks and things like that, she's still a, a cool character, and, um, she has a very unique personality as well, like, she can be very intense in your face, and then, then she could be almost like very much subtle and calm and cool. But I I enjoy her more when she's like in your face. And she she knows what she wants. She's direct. That's when I like her the most. Uh, but you guys tell me what you think of Tigra. I've always said I hope that she, she makes an appearance in the Avengers uh Earth's Mightiest Hero cartoon. But you guys tell me what you think of, of Tigra. Uh, do you like her? Do you think she's cool? Uh, or do you think she's just... Oh, she's just another feline character. Female feline character that just is there to um, appeal to comic lovers. But other than that, guys, this is my Vernon Kid. Saying peace, one love, stay tuned, guys. Keep it real. You guys take care.